This is TK Coleman, and you're tuning in to another episode of TK's Two Cents. Today, we're going to talk about hypothetical problems and honest living. Let's dive in with tweet number one. There are zero philosophies that provide ready-made solutions for all hypothetical problems. Don't base your pursuit of truth on a misguided quest for answers that never require hard thinking. I remember talking with one of my mentors once about a decision that I was trying to make, and I kept asking question after question. And at one point, he said to me, hey, look, man, at some point, you're going to have to back up and think about what your priorities are because you're never going to answer the last question. That is true of every worldview, of every philosophy. You're never going to answer the last question. Every worldview has the difficult questions that it has to grapple with. And what you want to search for is not a way of looking at things that allows you to be free from the inconvenience of dealing with tough questions and difficult situations. You want to find a way of looking at things that is coherent, that, that corresponds to reality, and that is constructive. I'll call those my three C's. You want to look for correspondence, for coherence, and for something that is constructive. Does it actually fit together the pieces of the puzzle in a way that makes sense, even if you don't like all of those pieces of the puzzle? Does it correspond to reality? And is it a way of looking at things that is okay with accommodating new insights, even if difficult changes have to be made? Is it constructive? Does it inspire you or compel you or motivate you to take positive creative action in the world? Or does it just encourage you to sit back and let life passively pass you by? That's what you want to look for in a worldview. So if you're someone that's out there and you're trying to make sense of the world or you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next, you've got a difficult, complex decision. Remember, there is no end to hypothetical questions. You will always be able to come up with a possible problem, a possible difficult scenario. And sometimes you have to trust yourself to be able to handle some of the complexities that come up on the go when they come up. What you want to focus on is building a solid foundation based on your principles, your priorities, and your preferences. Get clear on those things as you're thinking about the decisions that you need to make. What's consistent with the core values that you refuse to negotiate? What's consistent with the priorities, the things that you're willing to put first and sacrifice for? What's consistent with your preferences, the things that are part of your ideal world, your ideal experience? Think about those three things as you're trying to make a decision and never put yourself in a position to uh, have to figure out every potential problem before you allow yourself to take the leap and just live life. Sometimes you got to live life. Life is inherently risky. There's no approach to life that you're going to take that's going to give you any kind of certainty. You got to think critically, but you also have to trust yourself to live life with the ability to improvise. Let's go to tweet number two. The goal isn't to avoid failure. The goal is to avoid the regret that comes from ignoring the call of your own soul. Don't play it safe. Play it honest. Here's the thing about regret. Regret is very different from failure. Failure is when you set out to do something and it doesn't turn out the way you want it or the way you expect it. That's failure. Regret is when you respond to failure with the feeling that I shouldn't have done that. I wasted my life. It is not the case that all failure ends up with regret. Most people don't really fear failure. What they really fear is regret. They fear taking a certain path in life that causes them to end up being somebody that they never wanted to be. And then they say, oh my gosh, I should have never made those choices. I should have never did that thing. Here is the key to avoiding regret. Only open yourself up to the failures that don't matter to you because they are the failures that you need to risk experiencing for the sake of getting the answers that you need. The kind of failure that leads to regret is the kind of failure that comes from living out someone else's definition of success. It comes from playing games that you never cared about 
but that you were playing simply because you wanted to please other people or conflict with other, you know, or you didn't want to cause conflict with other people. And when we try to live out the life that other people want us to live and we fail, we tend to not handle those failures so well. Those failures tend to feel really bad because not only did things turn out poorly, but you also have this sense of, man, I should have just listened to myself. I sh if this if this was gonna fail, if this wasn't gonna work, if this was gonna lead to, lead to inconvenience, I should have just did what I wanted to do. But when you do what you wanna do the first time and you say, you know, I know this might not work, but this is what my soul is compelling me to do. And if I don't do it, I'm going to regret not giving it a try. Then even if you fail, you tend to turn out a better person on the other side. You tend to turn out a lot wiser and you tend to actually have the ability to cope with those failures because they're your failures. You're able to own them because those failures represent your capacity to create your life, to define your life, your capacity to choose for yourself. We tend to cope more effectively with failures that represent a life path that we are the ones who chose. Your failures tend to hurt, they tend to sting when they represent a life path that you chose for someone else. Don't play it safe, play it honest. Be true to what you really want out of life. Be true to your knowledge of the regrets you will feel from not trying the things that you really need to try. Go get answers to the questions that burn in your heart. Go find out what you need to know. Go pursue the dreams that you know you will regret not pursuing. And maybe you will fail, but you'll be able to handle those failures. The only way to avoid the possibility of failure is to play it safe by following other people's prescriptions. And you know what? You're still going to fail in that path. And when that happens, you'll be sitting back thinking, I should have just listened to myself anyway. That's no way to live. Don't do that. Play it honest. Be true to yourself. That's how you deal with hypothetical problems. And that's how you live honestly. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Be sure to hit like. Be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions or comments for me. I'd love to hear from you. And be sure to share this with a family member or friend if you think they will benefit from listening. All right, everybody. Thanks for supporting. Peace.